Aaron, I don't know if you played Brawl. I hope you did. You seem like... Well, I know you were a Smash 4 kid, obviously, hey, but... Hear me out, Aaron. Two bananas. Oh, sure. Two, two bananas. He hates Diddy Kong, though, so... <laughs> I don't know. Well, that'd be uh, happening. Good to see you, Aaron. It's hard being on commentary knowing you're watching. Watch out. <laughs> I'm scared. We got Brawl. <laughs> yeah, we got Cody we got against Brawl, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Brawl's easy, too, because if you even have, like, basic game knowledge, it's like, whoa, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. Type, yeah. I like this. It is hype, too, because I think... Kaya's like, this is the type of tournament I love to watch in Brawl too, because it's like seeing the other characters, like seeing Brawl at a top, top level and it being mostly Meta Knight and Ice Climbers and then a couple snakes or like a couple Marts is kind of cool. But again, seeing all the quirks of Brawl and all the uniqueness that it begins to offer uh, with all the different characters, I mean, we got a pit top four of this tournament. Yeah. Amazing. That's what gives the game character, right? Yes. That's why we love it. We like those silly little things that we grew up with that to us were just normal. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think like. Two, like Brawl was such a good way to learn the game because it was very neutral based like since you didn't have a ton of like really long cool combo strings or anything like that like you really needed to grind out the neutral unless you were playing a character with a chain grab then you needed to learn how to avoid grabs which is a whole nother <laughs> game itself like it was really cool to, to kind of grow up and learn smash through the lens of Brawl like it was very very different than a lot of games okay we got picked though let's go we go into the chat all right all right chat this is all you you run this one I love picto chat so many, like, such a wild idea for a stage. It's so fun, right? Yeah, and the fact that, like, a uh, like a DS game gets an entire stage is, is really cool. Okay. It's super cool. Ooh. Even the little things, like the now entering Snake. Okay, well, also we got Cody on Snake, too. Like we said, uh, you know, I know Cody plays, he's, like, one of the best, best players in the world, period, at Brawl. Yeah. But Kaios is, like, truly a ZSS main through and through. So I'm curious to see, like, the... Kind of fundies Cody without his main main of Meta Knight going up with all of his uh, great other characters and see how he does against the true uh, tried and true main. Oh, you can use those ladders by the way. You crawl. That's yeah, a new you uh, just walk up. New mechanic in Brawl. I don't think a crawling or climbing or crawling existed in Melee. You go up so fast on ladders in this game too. <laughs> the, the superhuman symbiote just activates, but only for ladders. Side B. Perfect shield on it though. Oh, snake hustling. Grab okay. tech chase. Okay, that's okay. info for it later. Roll the house. Away. That's the house of 3,000, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> it's a little small, I gotta say. Well, that is what it is, man. We should support them better. I live in New York. You know how crazy the rent is there? Come <laughs> True. on. True. That one, that's at least 5K a month. Jeez, dude. That grenade, it's crazy how powerful grenades are in this game just for raw kills, too. Like, it could just happen. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh you know exactly what Kaios wanted there. Throw him into the chompers. Mm hmm. Back door. Oh, oh yeah, it's super close. Side B. Oh, there we go. Two. The, there play, we go. the play and assist. We saw w the momentum dude. cancel start to come out there. It just wasn't quite enough. Oh, ooh, oh okay. We'll pivot grab. Okay. You know what time it is? It's down smash time. The clock too. Like the cool thing is, is it acts like a wall. So if you throw someone against it, like even as it's moving, you, you can kind of slide around it and stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, this stage is super unique, Chad. So it's basically FD, but random stuff spawns throughout. I don't know. It's every. Oh, so those are spikes. You can get tossed into them, and they hit pretty damn hard. Let's see if we can get it. So grab here is key. Oh, snake forward tilt, also a good option. Down tilt. So now it's like a mind game. Like, I want to avoid forward tilt. I want to avoid grabs. I want to avoid back airs because I don't want to get hit into those. It adds an, a very interesting additional element because usually you're conditioning for, like, the RPS situations. But now you have these very short time windows during which it all changes. And you have to keep track of the traditional RPS on top of what's going on in those scenarios. Uh-huh. So, very nice. Mm, I'm not my man Beluga right there. So the other thing you gotta know is some of the things that are drawn are just like decoration and other of them are actually interactable. Yeah, so you have to know. I'm watching that C4 on the left side. So hard to keep track of on such a dynamic stage. Oh, up B. Nice, trying to tra uh, trace him down there. I love Zero Suits up B in this game. It goes foolish. It does. So many cool things you can do with it. Just that expression Ooh. is something that players Ooh. always love to fiddle around with. Okay, we're in the forest. Okay, okay. Up smash yet again. Send, send to the Pine Barons. See, and that's, oh, forward tilt. Oh, the shield push off. Setting up a tech. Ooh, just oh. keep jabbing. <laughs> what is jab combo into? Jab. It's true. Okay. Lasers out. Side B, okay. Dash attack through. This one I was always confused by. Now, is this like a duck person? Like, why is there <laughs> a mouth like duck? that? 
Look, the artist is trying their best. You like, know, the no. hand's claw-like in nature, so I don't understand. He just puts, like, a little snack. Puts something in there, he, like, puts it in his mouth. He's saving it for later. Grenades, explosions abound here. Little umbrella coming through. Back throw. Dacus. Jumping over the up smash as well. Kaya's so confident getting out of the ledge. Oh, nice! Using the ledge. You see him slip right up the ledge. That was so sick using the little whip. Cody is playing such a simple, effective okay. game plan with the snake. You're not seeing weird, silly little things. Just playing to the basics. And it's working really well. Nice. Again, the platform movement from Kaya's is ridiculous. Forward tilt of the tech chase. That's a crazy tech chase because that's the first time Kaya's has chosen that option. But it worked. This is the crazy thing about Snake in this game, too. Oh, okay. Oh, All right, nobody's moving. This is lobbing grenades territory or side B. Oh, oh my wait, god, wait, that was a combo. Good. Barely gets the momentum cancel off. We're still alive, but Kaya's living on borrowed time. Oh my god, <laughs> just throw this through <laughs> his own grenade at himself. What is so bad? Simply ridiculous. Waiting it out, I love that. So the flip jump can animation was done. Oh, <laughs> put him in the... What are these? This is oh, like that, that Super Mario what? World level. What'd you say, numbers? <laughs> what do you oh, say, numbers? Are those bars of gold? What do you say, numbers? I said, oops, I didn't turn my mic off. You remember that super secret, like, Mario Bros. level where you had to go up the levels you could never go down? That's what that oh, okay, reminds me okay, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's what me of is that one minigame from Mario Party 1 where everyone's getting oh. the box. Is your mic on right now? Can they hear you? Box Mountain, they can hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> it's box John Numbers set. John Numbers, everybody. Give it up. Thanks, Numbies. All right, we're going back with the snake again, too, actually. I was curious because, again, I know that Cody can play many different characters, but we're going to go, oh, my God. So, chat, this is the first game where Smashville was a stage period. Like, having the moving platform and everything, this is where it really became a certified classic, is is in Brawl. Indeed. I love the stretcher combos Ooh. as well. That's like the OG stretcher combo. Nowadays, we call them stretchers, but there's nothing quite like having one sitting there underneath you. Well, before, the real thing was um, Meta Knight on, that, on those platforms. Like, yeah, just, so he, what he's able to do is wait on the platform, and then he can mock Tornado while the platform's moving, dip in and out around you, then go back up to it and land laglessly. Like, that is a part of Shuttle Loop, obviously, is very stupid on the stage. Like, he was... Meta Knight was, like, very, very, very good on stage. Snake 2, like, if you're able to bounce, you see how the grenades bounce and roll off of it as well. You can actually get different angles in your projectiles with that. Uh, you can also put a down smash and a down B on it as well. And we got KK Slider because it's Saturday night. It's true. Hey, yeah, true. Yeah, we don't get this much anymore at Majors. Oh, back. Back in the day, people used to they'd scam the system and tell it was a different time of day. Right. So you'd always get KK Slider. Yeah, you gotta get the blue. We call that the happy birthday. Yeah, you gotta get it. You gotta go get it. Come on, this is ridiculous. I thought these guys were brawl players. I saw the same thing in the insane. in loser semis. They just didn't chase down the the happy birthday. Made me sad. It's all right though. Kyle's fighting back, but Cody looking pretty solid on this Ooh. snake. I mean, did you see who Cody went on winners? I saw Marth at one point. I don't know if that's who Cody went the entire time. One seventy, still almost living. Honestly, crazy stuff. Ooh. Tech Woman not able to quite find it there. There are situations like that in this game, very similar to like the Amsa Tech in Melee that has become very famous. It doesn't. Oh come my up. God! Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Too, you get the down B on the platform mix right here. The thing too is I feel like Kaios. We're not seeing a lot of that offense we've seen from him earlier. Okay, again the platform movement though. He's clean. It feels like Kaios is, is. Oh, that might have been snapback. I don't think you meant to go that way. It was kind of okay, weird. Let's just jab and forward tilt each other. Sounds yeah. good. It's like that slap fighting thing. We just go back and forth. Right, please pop that balloon for God's sake. <laughs> just give us one. This is awful. Just one. This stream is a disaster. <laughs> That's a game right there. Two oh. forward smashes. You know Cody's playing hot. I'd Ow. like to see a... Let's see a different character from Cody. Okay, let's nope, not. No, we're back. You know what I'd like to see is uh, actually Fox. Apparently we're Fox, here to win. Fox in this game, actually a pretty good character if you didn't super exploit him with either Pikachu chain grabs or Meta Knight did pretty well against him too. But he's had a real problem against, since he has that weird fastballing property to him, he had chain grab problems, which is not a good problem to have in this game. The Kaya's got a little unlucky there. Cody whiffed on trying to grab those projectiles to throw them away. And Kaya's kind of messed up the, the recovery. Just looking, just looking scary. 84 unanswered. And Cody is just super comfortable, even on a stage this small. That's right. Oh, the Dacus, the air dodge through the, oh, that's a combo, yep. Landing up smash into the back air. Whoop. Come on. You see the balloon. It's right there. 
Come on. Aww. These guys suck. Boo. I'm just kidding. They roll. You like go. to have fun. <laughs> no, they're playing some great ball right now. <laughs> yeah, they are. Zone it out. One good straight hair here from Snake can certainly do it. Isn't that the name of the game of Snake? The down smash is going to get actually interrupted there by the grenade coming through. That was unfortunate because, you know, when you hit that first down smash, you're just buffering the second one. You're not really thinking about it. And it's really easy to get caught out by a grenade in those scenarios. Oh, it was right there. They were teasing us. Once again, no happy birthdays to be had. Oh, my God. Ever. Ever. What the DI from Cody is ridiculous right now, by the way. 136 and does not have any real reason to be living that long. Tekken away. That's going to be an easy punish. Oh, he didn't actually uh, dash. He didn't cancel in the up smash. Yeah, we're seeing in real time how Snake has some of the best survivability oh in the entire God. game. Watch your watch your shield right now. Yeah, up till this is easy extra damage right now. Well, two, like the back airs from Zero Suit are turbo staled. And I think the only other thing that Zero Suit might have against Cypher that's good is the second hit affair. I'm pretty sure that'll do it, but hey, damn, Snake hey, Eater, but hey, happy, happy birthday. birthday. There it is. Kaya's won this set, my heart. <laughs> there you go. That's going to finally do it. Um, the other thing I want to say, too, about Snake's grenades that's pretty interesting is, like, you don't see people grab them and throw them back quite as much in this game. I feel like we didn't see that a lot today. And some of it is, is if, you, if Snake throws a grenade at you, pulls another one, and then Shield drops it, it forces you to drop it. I don't know if you all knew that, chat, but it's something that he has. Ooh, a little, little fake out there. I like the movement from Kaya's. Oh Cody just God. stands there and punishes. Like, I know you're going to land in front of me eventually. Back throw. Pressure in the corner We here. went to scam. Going for that neutral air. Like, the hitbox is not as crazy as in an ultimate, but, dude, it's still a good many hits that you need to weave around uh, in order to punish Snake, which is just dangerous. Trying to catch the approach, but Cody, again, just, like, knows that spacing, knows he doesn't have to approach, but we still got double down smash down air. Down smash, One down smash. Time. Oh, okay, going for the up B, trying to mix it up. I think that was a smash you had to get out of it because if you don't get the sweet spot of the up B, it doesn't pull them back down and set it up for tech chase. Ooh, that was a nice approach Ooh. there. Gets the grab. Not able to Damn. kill once again. It was a good try by Kaios. I think he made an uh, active effort to not stale the back air. And saving it right there still wasn't enough. Up tilt on the platform. Challenging Snake, and you're going that no flies onto the up tilt hitbox, which is all around him. You got to be careful. Definitely fishing for that back air to kill. Able to get it right after, though. So it's evened up this game after starting out at a bit of a deficit. Dude, dude again, Kaios with the platform movement. It's so smooth. I would love to see a game four of this. I'm just enjoying the movement. The level of tech skill on display, even at 2024, they're so up to date on it. It's just rare to see Brawl. I just love to see it, especially at a top level these days. I mean, the game has changed. I mean, it's so similar. Like, it's so nice to see Brawl again, but it's, dude, it's so optimized. Like, these players are wild. It's not easy to do what they're doing, chat. <laughs> no, it is not. If you played Brawl in 2024, you guys, wait a minute. Like, I feel so locked out of movement until I know the options. You know what right. I mean? I like the spacing. Kaya is trying to play so safe, but you just keep getting those nickel and dime explosions we talked about. Mm -hmm. Run past Back each other. Later. Right. It's yeah, crazy too that like a lot of characters who ended up being very good in this game had very good Dacuses. Like, yes, it's just wild how that kind of worked out. Oh, it's gonna do it right yeah. there. Explosions away here. Cody taking it down. 3-0 Grand Finals with. Solid Snake, man. What a set. What a tournament. Great time here. I did not even know we had Brawl, honestly, until uh, yesterday when I was checking the commentary schedule. I was like, damn, I'm casting Brawl. I was like, is that Brawl Hollow? Like, all right, all right. I always love Brawl. They always to come through for the Brawl homies. Uh, they don't get many tournaments every year, so I'm happy to sit here and talk about a game You know that really is something that I love, and I'm happy to watch it every year and see all these guys who still grind the game. You know, it, it's pretty rare. You know, obviously, Melee is the exception to the rule, but typically, as you move on through Smash games, no one plays the previous one, or not even close to as many people stick around, you know. Whether it's, you know, people age out of playing, and it's also like, I gotta whole, learn a whole new game, I'm not gonna do this, so Brawl, you know, where it is, it's really a labor of love. So shout out to everyone putting it on. Shout out to the tournament for hosting it, and for everyone showing up and playing some top level Brawl, and having a fun move set, uh, rule set to yeah, go along with sure. it. Yeah, for sure. I really enjoyed that rule set. I also wanna give a shout out to the Brawl Discord. I know they've been keeping up with the community. If any of y'all really enjoyed what you saw today, and you're like, you wanna check out a little more about the game, look up the Brawl Discord, I'm sure. Someone in chat's probably got a link that they could throw your way. It's a great yeah. time. I was going to say, too, I was talking about the snake grenade thing. So when Snake has a grenade, he throws it at you. You grab it to throw it back. He pulls another one. If you try to throw it and he shields to drop his grenade, it stops your grenade where you're throwing it. So you don't see mm. as much of that grenade like kind of throw back and forth. 
it's a really cool little nuance or glitch in the game that's that's like really fun to kind of play around because then Snake has the mind game of like he throws a grenade at you, he knows you're gonna try to pick it up and throw it, you can like Dacus at you and yeah, like exactly. you know, it, it's really that's cool. Great. Like Snake, like the little mini games that evolved out of his base game plan are, are really fun in this game. I'm glad we got to see a lot of that. I love my boy Meta Knight, but it was really fun yeah, to watch it's great. Pit succeed today because I again I think that character is such a banger in, in, in Brawl. So it was really cool seeing so much of that projectile war in the top four because it's so different from what you're used to in other Smash games because of all those tech skill things you talked about. That's right. It is what it is, chat. All right. Good stuff, everyone. That was Brawl. Uh, we have Rivals 2 still going on. We got a little bit of Ultimate still going on, but we're going to wrap up for the day here pretty soon at Wavelength. Watch the rest of the tournaments and also stay tuned for these cool ads. Hit them with it, Lentini. Well, first of all, we got to give big ups to House of 3000. They've been running all the tournament uh, stuff here in the back end, making our job as easy as possible. Thank you to John Numbers, of course, for working with us through all of this block. Thank you I to the team for the, so the, much the, the quad stream <laughs> as well, making that all happen. It's been amazing. You can see all the socials there. If you want to hire these guys, there's the email address. You already know what to do. Highly recommend.